Fine talk, but again, today I'm delighted to be joined by Josh Abraham ahead of his welcome return to the cage on Unity Fight Championships. <laughs> Josh, we've running. got <laughs> Hopper and Carl off camera here as well. I think every time I interview you, Hopper's <laughs> lurking about some. doing something in the he background. Got his, he got his hoop out on the last one. <laughs> yeah, he, he did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yes, yeah, so return to the cage for the first uh, time in what? Four years for you now? Uh, for four years, I think, was my last fight against Chris Edwards on Cage Warriors, wasn't it? I had a K1 fight last year. On uh, that hybrid rules with the little four ounce gloves on, um, but uh, I, I I wouldn't say it was a fight. I, I got a good punch pretty early on, and, and that was it over. So, and it was a welterweight as well, so I didn't die. I didn't do anything. I just I just fought really. You know what I mean? Look, it has been a long time away from the cage for you. What have you sort of been working on, and been doing in that four year? Because that, that's a long period for a pro to be absent. I know. I mean, Christ, you turned pro when you were seventeen, so it was very know, early yeah. for turning pro. <laughs> but what have you been working on in this last four year? You know what, like, if anyone watches any of my fights, like, I'm an, I'm an aggressive fighter. I've always had a good base of stand-up. I, I've done, done kickboxing and karate since I was, like, six-year-old. Um, but I always neglected wrestling and jiu-jitsu because I just thought, like, maybe I could just win fights by knocking people out because I was, I was young, I was immature. I just thought, if I knock someone out easy, then it's done, isn't it? Um, so the last year, year, the last year, I've spent, like, working, just smashing jiu-jitsu. I've been going through Alliance, like, three, four times a week. Uh, I've been grafting with Cal doing for an MMA and Nogi three, four times a week as well. Just trying to improve everything I was shit at. I feel like I've grown up as a fighter now, so it's just better for me. Like, I feel like I've got a whole game now, do you know what I mean? I don't just feel like I'm a one-sided little fighter, you know what I mean? I feel like I've got my whole game, my whole game's rounded now. I, feel, I just feel ready to go again, do you know what I mean? I mean I'm probably in the best place physically and mentally like I've ever been for being a fighter look on that physical aspect you have moved the weight division there as well i know look one look on your social media you've been doing a lot of work with charlotte hill the pt yeah, yeah. how much have you found that's added to your game um she's really changed my whole game to be fair i feel like i feel like i'm a man now like i've got a man's body i i, I always felt little like even when i went to featherweight like i went down to featherweight to compete at, like thinking i'll be a bit bigger down at featherweight and, and i got steve amable for my first fight who was just a ginormous small man and then i got chris edwards next who was wasn't as big as built as me but he was just a whole lot stronger he had that man strength you know what i mean and i was like i think i was 21 at the time like i didn't have that man strength like now i'm starting to fill into my body i feel, I feel like a man like i don't feel like a little boy anymore do you know what i mean <laughs> but like i used to be like a little skinny fat man me I, I just like i never had any muscle definition or anything like that and like i just feel like i'm i'm suited at 70 i always i, I was undefeated as a pro at 70 and then i went to 65 and, and Got fucked up twice. <laughs> Big time. Look, on that, the k Warriors run didn't go the way you wanted to, of course, didn't, right? Yes, but no. as a young pro, how did that affect you mentally? How do you then overcome that? Um, I think probably I spent the last three and a half years off because it did really affect me. Like, there was a point I was saying to Anthe, I, I didn't want to fight again. Like, how, how can I come back from... Because I've had three losses in a row on cage Warriors. Um, my first one... I'm not making excuses, I got beat, but I was ill the week before. It was a 70 kilo fight, I weighed in at 65.4. Um, I never told Anth, I just, just winged it and kept telling him I'd be all right, you know what I mean? And then I obviously had two tough fights after that as well. I don't know what it is, mate, I just want to fight again. Like, I feel now I'm, everything, everything for me is just that whole game, whether I go back to fight on cage warriors, fight locally, domestically to build myself back up again, I just want to be back out there and like I feel like people have forgot who I am because it's been four years, do you know what I mean? And I'm only 25. I, in a sense of a professional athlete, I think that's still very young, do you know what I mean? So I just, just want to get back out there and do it again, bro. Looking, you are getting back out yeah. there. <laughs> March 4th, Unity Fighting Championships. Yeah. Ricardo Marez, you've taken on. I know it's another late changing opponent for you. Slightly frustrating to be coming back and it being... I guess sort of almost like left off where it's a constant change in opponents. No, what it is, like, you get used to it, don't you? Like, it's happened to me loads before. Um, so it was like the third opponent change. I, I was meant to have, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but I was meant to have first, if I'm being honest. And then the fight was offered to Danny Tyler, and um, he declined it because I don't even know why he declined it, to be fair. And now we're on Ricardo Marez, and... Hopefully he doesn't pull out and we stick with Ricardo Marez. I don't know anything about him, but I just want to fight. And like, I'm looking for like without sounding like a fairy boy here. Like, it's a good tune-up fight. You know what I mean? Like, I need that fight back. It's been four years. Maybe I get in the cage and don't feel the same as I used to. 
that's just not gonna happen though. I feel better than I ever have though. Just looking forward to it, mate. Do you know what I mean? And look, you're looking to be very active this year. Of course, you've got the MMA bout first. Then I think the week later, are you grappling? And then of course, Cal and Hotbad show in Northern Submission Series as well. Aye, uh, so I'm gonna fight March the fourth. I'm gonna do BJJ 24/7 the twelfth, and then I've got to fight with Jimmy Sweeney on Northern Submission Series March the eighteenth. Yeah. Look at you, to make sure I'm right. <laughs> March the 18th. And obviously, like, while I've been inactive as a fighter, like, Cal and Anth have given us that platform on Northern Submission Series to, like, it's like having an MMA fight when you're on Northern Submission Series. There's a massive crowd. Like, it's a big stage to fight on, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to be going in there with them, like, not fighting for a long time and having them nervous, like, that nervous energy of being in front of a crowd again. Like, I've had it on that show, do you know what I mean? Like, and that platform has probably helped me as well know where my grappling is at and know where I, that I can compete with probably them lads that I've competed against have all been really good grapplers you know what I mean and like I've held my own I've done well um, except from Andrew Marley he hooked me in seconds <laughs> didn't do so well <laughs> <laughs> finally then Josh Lockwood says it's four years away from the cage if somebody hasn't seen you fight before what can them unity fans expect come fight night ah, loads of violence <laughs> as violent as I possibly can be on the floor wrestling anything you know me just want to be violent and put on a good entertaining fight so that's the plan hopefully it goes to plan <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? perfect josh thank you very much for thank you